<laughs> we have a cadeau. What are we having for breakfast, Chris? Raw Nola. Oh, yeah. And we're super excited. He sings it always, but he won't sing it right now. Sing it. I've never seen it. I don't know what about. <laughs> he has a little song that he sings every single time we're gonna have Raw Nola. She's lying. Don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're so beautiful, Anna. Ronola in the bowl. They're chasing me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, didn't even know you were there. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually don't have any pants on. I don't have pants on yet today. <laughs> <laughs> You've got pants on, don't you, Aya? Yeah. Daddy, <laughs> You ready for Brecky? Good morning, guys. <laughs> so we decided to have porridge instead of the raw nola and we're going to have this and then go down the beach. You gonna go for a swim? Hmm? <laughs> Are you looking at the birds? Uh, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day today and it is a Sunday and we leave here on Thursday, I think. So yeah, we're just trying to enjoy our last few days here on the island. In today's video, I'm going to share with you four of my top tips for avoiding a bloating and keeping a flat stomach. It might seem unimportant, but I just know that when I'm bloated, I don't feel that good about myself and I get asked this question a lot, like how I manage to have a flat stomach which like I don't all of the time but I'll just share with you guys my tips on how I go about that so yeah so this is Chris right now <laughs> okay I just finished my breakfast and because Chris is laying there like a sloth I thought, I'm gonna share with you my first couple of tips for avoiding bloating and having a flat stomach so my first tip is to eat mindfully eat slowly and with awareness don't just scoff your food because you'll often overeat it makes you feel lethargic and bloated I don't feel lethargic <laughs> a couple of helpful things can be to eat with chopsticks that can slow you down or even just eating with a smaller spoon if you're having say something like porridge I'm not saying eat less or anything just eat slowly and um, yeah with mindfulness and my second tip is to eat consistently like you'll notice that if you watch our videos we are having porridge nearly every single morning for breakfast that is because my body thrives off routine when I eat similar foods repeatedly my body absorbs it and digests it so much more easily so yeah my first two tips are to eat mindfully and to eat regular and consistent meals Where's your, where's your hair? Yeah. Where's your foot? Itchy. Where's your nose? Where's your ears? Where's your eyes? Where's your ah. mouth? Yeah. Well done. I you so that is the beach we're going to, just down there. So beautiful from up here. So I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like.
Now we're gonna head back home. So we are back from the beach. Chris went and brought a heap of fruit, so we're gonna eat some of that. He's gonna put A to sleep for her first nap, and then I'm going to share with you guys some more tips. Oh. Have you got something in your mouth? Mango? Um. Check out this pineapple. This is how they cut it. So it's just like a massive, it's like fairy floss. It's really good. This is the first one I've had here. Oh, I want to try it. Is it good? Yeah. Ayana is asleep and Chris is slurping on a pineapple in front of me. And I know that I said I was going to share Chris. <laughs> I said I was going to share four tips about how to like have a flat stomach and avoid bloating, but you're probably going to get a few more than that because I've thought of a couple more. The third tip is to eat when you're hungry. So don't just eat willy nilly, but let yourself get hungry and then eat because then your body is ready for food. It wants food. If you're just like snacking all day and stuff like that, it's not ready to absorb the food that you're eating. It's you, your body's not primed for the food. Um, and with that, prepare your, your own food as much as you can. Like it is less processed food and more like wholesome whole foods because your body knows that as food and wants to absorb it. But the more processed it is, the harder it is to absorb in your body. Well, that's what I've found anyway. So the fourth tip is to drink more water and consume less sodium. So I love to get up in the morning and have between a liter and a liter and a half of water first thing in the morning, get everything going. And I'm really careful with how much sodium I consume. It is crazy how much sodium there is in like um, condiments and stuff like that. So definitely recommend like making your own sauces and things like that. I think that's a great way to get like healthier, tastier food. Um, but yeah, when you have a lot of sodium in your diet, you're going to retain more water and you'll feel more bloated. So I've still got a couple more tips I'm going to share with you guys. So I'll, um, I'll share them at the end of this vlog. But So Chris got some lunch and Ayana's awake. Yeah. And we're having curry and rice. And we're just trying to get in as much Thai food as we can before we leave. This is the Pendang curry. Pendang. Pendang. <laughs> I like Pendang. Our curry was a little bit hot for Ayana. Wow. So she's having some coconut flesh. How many times can we show Ayana eating coconuts in our videos? We're just chilling inside. <laughs> We're just chilling inside because it's so crazy hot outside. And I is doing some downward dogs on the bed. Oh, oh you just kicked daddy. <laughs> okay, so I did just say we were in the aircon because it was like insanely hot. And now for some weird reason we've decided to do the workout that we didn't do earlier at the beach. Lazy. Yeah, we're being a bit sloth-like, so I'm gonna go down to the shade and do a little workout. Hope It'll be the shortest workout. Oh, we're talking like five minutes. I was gonna say ten, and I was like, who am I kidding?
this really isn't working out too well so we're going to um, turn the camera off. <laughs> so we just did that little tiny workout. It was not much and it was pretty hard to do it with Ayana there. She just crawls all over us. But that leads me into my last two tips for avoiding bloating and having a flat stomach. My fifth tip is to move your body. Like if you're just sitting on the couch all day, it's going to be much more likely you'll be bloated because your body is designed to move and movement really helps with your digestion. So it doesn't have to be much, just like a little walk, just whatever you can do, just move your body and I swear that helps so much. So this leads me into my last tip and that is to engage your core. So if you do yoga, you might know these as your bundas, but what I tend to do throughout the day, on and off, just whenever it pops into my mind, is to engage my core. And that doesn't mean contracting my abdominal muscles. Your core is your core, like they're deeper than your abdominal muscles. I'll try to explain how I do it. You've got your pelvic floor, and to engage your pelvic floor, it's like when you really, really need to wee, but you can't go to the toilet yet, so you have to like stop yourself from weeing. So you're drawing your muscles like in and up, and then here on your stomach, you are drawing that towards your spine and up. Like two different um, contractions going on. And I do this so often. This isn't just for like aesthetic things because you know, I want a flat stomach or anything. This is because I want a strong functioning body. And when you have a strong core, you're protecting your lower back from injury. So I, I really, really, really recommend trying this, even if you're just doing the dishes, brushing your teeth, so you're drawing your pelvic floor up and then you're drawing your inner like stomach muscles towards your spine. And this can be like quite exhausting for your muscles because they might not be used to it. So you don't have to do it for long, just whenever it pops into your head and you don't have to do it like 100% contraction, just like give them a gentle contraction so you can feel your stomach, your core, firming up and just the more you do it the easier it'll get and the stronger you're going to get through your core and that really really helps with having a flat stomach because your muscles are strong and hard like they're not just um <laughs> anyway they are my tips on how to have a flat stomach and avoid bloating and honestly I know that this might seem like a bit superficial but I know that I never feel good when I'm bloated. I just don't feel good about myself. And it often means that I'm doing things in my life that aren't like healthy. <laughs> so the other week I was really bloated for a few days and I just went back to these six things that I discussed with you today. And I honestly, I just felt so much better. My bloating went down and I just felt better about myself. So, so drink more water, eat less sodium, eat when you're hungry, eat consistently and at regular times, um, move your body, engage your core, and what was the last one? Eat mindfully. Don't just scoff your food down. I hope that was helpful and if I can be more clear about anything in particular, just let me know. <laughs> Hey guys, I wrap this vlog up. It's been an awesome day, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> and if you haven't yet subscribed, consider doing so and join us on this journey. We're putting up videos every day at the moment. Bye guys. Thanks so much guys. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, what's your name? <laughs>